Hi, I'm Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Friends, in today's video lecture, we will learn what is Kirchhoff's Voltage Law, KVL. We will learn many things about Kirchhoff's Voltage Law and how we can apply this in the circuit, RLC circuit. So watch this video till the end and uh, if you have not subscribed my channel, then please subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy for more such videos. So let's begin. So first let me tell you what is Kirchhoff's voltage law that is KVL. According to Kirchhoff's voltage law, the net potential drop in a closed electrical circuit is zero. It means the summation of voltages across each component is zero whether we move in clockwise direction or the anti-clockwise direction at any instant of time you can uh, this condition will be fulfilled at each instant of time that is the net potential drop the summation of all voltages uh, across all uh, the components in the circuit will be zero at every instant of time actually the Kirchhoff's voltage law is based on the conservation of energy but how it is based on the conservation of energy as we know that voltage v is equals to w by q okay w here is work q is the charge v is voltage and it is work is in the form of energy work is energy so e by q as the algebraic summation of energy gained or lost must be zero so the algebraic summation of voltage should also be equal to zero therefore it's based on the conservation of energy. Now we will see how we can apply this Kirchhoff's voltage law in this uh, circuit. As I told you that uh, the net potential drop in a circuit is zero, whether we apply it clockwise or anti-clockwise. Let's apply it clockwise in this circuit. Now write the equation of KVL. So for this, you need to know the voltage across each component. We know that uh, voltage across this resistance let's denote it by vr across this resistor is equals to by ohm's law is equals to i into r here so you can see you can write it as i r okay voltage across the inductor we know l dit by dt so here is the voltage across the inductor l is the inductance of the inductor and uh, voltage across the capacitor now see what is voltage across the capacitor since we know voltage v is equals to q by c q is equals to cv for uh, capacitor you know and what is q q is it dt okay the charge is it dt so it is divided by 1 by c so it is one uh, voltage across capacitor is 1 by c integral it dt so now we know all these values, I can easily apply the KVL in this circuit, RLC circuit. So how to write this equation? What we will do, we will uh, move clo in clockwise direction and will add the voltages across each component. So let's move in this clockwise direction. As we are moving from in this direction, so you see, we will calculate the voltage as uh, final minus initial, okay? Actually, the final minus initial is the voltage. So if I move from here to here, then the voltage is increasing by V volts. Okay. So final minus initial. So potential drop across it is V. Okay. At this point, the voltage is V higher than this. So final minus initial is V. Okay. It is the voltage across this battery. And if I move in this way, then what will happen? Since current is moving in this direction. Okay. We are assuming it. In this direction as we know the current moves always from the higher potential to the lower potential so the voltage is high at this point and lower at this point that is it moving from here to here so final minus initial difference is taken as final minus initial so final minus initial will be negative so by ohm's law voltage across this resistor is we know i into r but it is negative okay final minus initial in the same way voltage across the inductor is l dit by dt so it is l dit by dt but again it is negative because current is moving in this direction final minus initial lower minus higher and in the same way by the same principle we know 1 upon c integral 
ITTT is the voltage across the capacitor. So this is our equation of KVL V minus IRT minus L DIT by DT minus 1 upon C integral IT DT and it is equals to 0. Okay, let me write one more thing here. It is equal to 0 as the net potential drop should be equal to 0 in this closed electrical circuit. So this is our KVL equation for this RLC circuit. So by this principle, you can apply KVL for any electrical network. The concept should be clear. Just assume one direction of uh, current. There is no rule that you, uh, you apply it in clockwise direction. You can apply uh, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. In both of the cases, just uh, take care of the concept whether the voltage is increasing or whether the sand will be positive or negative. Okay, The result will be same in all the cases. So in the next videos, we will see more uh, problems based on various concepts about uh, circuits. So keep watching Engineering Made Easy for more such videos and don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Friends, for more such videos, you can uh, subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can uh, visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.